Welcome to Eurochem TV, where we discuss and demonstrate all things Eurochem. Today's topic is the proper use and application of Eurochem's HS Glamour Clear UC210. UC210 Glamour Clear is our higher solids clear, which provides a deep, wet look shine and has excellent UV protection for a longer lasting finish. In fact, the unique UV additive package now used in UC210 provides more UV protection than most clears, costing substantially more. UC210 HS Glamour Clear is a perfect choice for overalls and custom work where appearance and durability is more important than speed of dry. UC210 cuts and buffs easily after 24 hours cure and can be cut and buffed indefinitely. UC210 is not compliant for use in low VOC markets such as most of California, Maryland, and Delaware, so always check your local regulations before purchasing. We do offer a low VOC clear coat compliant in markets that require low VOC finishes. As with any automotive finish, proper painting conditions are important for obtaining the best results. It's best to paint in temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit part temperature and 70 degrees Fahrenheit paint material temperature. Keep in mind that the conditions outside are brought into your paint booth through your booth intake. Moisture should be a concern when applying automotive finishes. So, unless your paint booth has the ability to heat parts well above the dew point, you should not paint when raining, dew on the ground, or fog in the air. Parts painted at temperatures near the dew point can easily condensate thin layers of moisture which are often not visible on the part or in the paint film itself but can cause failure to the finish. Low humidity, blue sky days are the best conditions for painting provided you can get your part temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have your parts ready to paint and the conditions are good, start by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment and only use this product in areas that are free of ignition sources such as heat, sparks, or open flames. There is no need to shake this clear coat prior to opening. In fact, shaking the can of clear can cause micro foam that can end up in your finished product. UC210 mixes 2 to 1 by volume with Eurochem's UA series activators and can be reduced up to 10% if desired. Measuring and mixing is made easy using the 2 to 1 column on the Eurochem mixing cup. Mix gently, then strain into your spray gun. For best atomization, spray pressures should be set to 20 to 26 PSI at the trigger with gravity-fed HVLP guns or 40 to 55 PSI for siphon-fed guns. For reduced pressure, refer to the gun's manufacturer's recommendations for a good starting point. Guns equipped with a 1.3 to 1.4 millimeter fluid tips are considered optimal, but smaller or larger tips may work satisfactory depending on the setup. One often forgotten gun setting is your fluid or trigger adjustment. The knob behind the trigger on your gun is what controls how much fluid is released to the spray head. Too much material released results in larger droplets and too much material applied, and too little material results in smaller droplets which can lead to dry spray. Each time you use your spray gun, it's a good practice to screw the fluid adjustments clockwise all the way to hand tight, then count the rotations as you turn it counterclockwise to open it up. With UC210, three to four turns out from hand tight is generally a good starting point. At this point, you are ready to do a test spray on paper or on your booth wall. Your spray pattern should be a tight and uniform ellipse. If not, then you may need to clean some of the small orifices in your spray tip or air cap. Once you have a good spray pattern, it's a good idea to spray a test panel to make sure the product flows well and is doing what you want it to with your settings. Apply two to four wet coats with 50 to 75% overlap, allowing 15 minute flash times between coats. A six to eight inch fan pattern at approximately a six inch gun distance is a good general rule. While satisfactory UV protection and gloss can be achieved in two coats, applying additional coats makes for a deeper, even more durable finish. After your last coat, clean your gun immediately with a gun cleaning solvent, lacquer thinner, acetone, or MEK. Check local regulations for compliant gun cleaner options. UC210 should be allowed to cure at least 24 hours before wet sanding and polishing if desired. Thanks for joining us on the proper use and application of Eurochem's HS Glamour Clear UC210. 
this product, and many more are available online at www.decodingstore.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Eurochem TV, so you don't miss other great videos.